Ducky, my emotional support stuffed animal. I'm gonna get personal with you guys because I don't really share much other than making music and I feel like my life is much more than making music. There's so much that I want to share or talk about. I want to hear other people's things that they go through that are similar but yeah I just wanted to like start vlogging. First thing I do in the rising I wake up I think about all the things I'm grateful for, but I also have like, I have affirmations that I listen to or I say. This rising I smile 24 brand new hours are before me. I vow to live fully in each moment and look at all beings with eyes of compassion. I am powerful, I am resilient, I am a champion, I am brave, I am confident, I am creative, I am free, I am loved, I am necessary, I am fearless, I am positive, I am caring, I am worry free, I am effortless, I am beautiful, I am accepted, I am me, I am. that I am getting a tufting gun today. It is getting delivered finally. It's been like a month, probably not that long, but I am ready to do something new. This is the day. And I'm excited to share this with you guys. And this is really one of the things what I wanted to show you guys with this new vlogging thing. Of course, you know me for making music and I've been doing that for years, right? But I really want to do something new. I wanted to make rugs. Uh oh, my girlfriend's calling me. My tufting gun. Look at wow. I'm about to have oops conniption. <gasps> I'm about to have therapy. My EMDR therapy. I've been talking to the lady for two weeks. It's just like consultation and her giving me coping mechanisms throughout the time I'm not talking to her because it's gonna be intense. I have anxiety and my body hurts so. I think I'm gonna take some CBD. Okay, just finished EMDR therapy and it was pretty cool. Just first talked about my week, but I'm setting boundaries and your girl is leveling up. And basically after that, we talked about the top 10 traumatic things in my life. And then preceding that, it's the top 10 great memories of my life. So it's a nice balance and definitely cried actually during the good moments. And I think also one thing I struggle with is something I was sharing with my therapist is that like, she told me ahead of time that we're gonna talk about this. So when I thought about it ahead of time, like my top 10 best moments or memories I had a hard time remembering a lot of my childhood. I had a hard time remembering things without referencing a photo that I've seen or a video that I've watched. And I really had to sit there and ask myself, like, what do you really remember on your own? And that kind of sucks when your mind 
is protecting you from things that have happened or you're just getting old and you really can't remember and like it makes me really wish that I had a camcorder back in the day so I could see myself but then again maybe not it would probably be traumatic I don't know can't go back in the past but I can only rely on what I have now but also the thing about PTSD is that things don't come up until you're triggered I think I'm going to unbox this tufting gun <laughs> what we got here we got user manual won't need that just kidding scarecrow arms and legs here we got we got the tough the world tufting kit got my tufting gun let's open it up Woo! I'm gonna give you some carpets and rugs now. Oh! Okay, yeah, this is going to go in the end, I guess. Pretty sure there's some instructions on how to set it up. Won't need that. This is my cut pal tufting machine from tuftheworld.com. This is not a sponsorship, but you guys can hit me up if you guys wanna sponsor me. I'm so excited about this. I'm hungry, I'm probably gonna eat, eat something really quickly. And I'm hoping by this weekend, I'll be able to make my first rug. Super excited. There is a sunset at Brewing. You can see the ocean right there, little bitty. That's the ocean, my lord. Beautiful Tuesday evening. I'm gonna try to run to Joanne's real quick and grab some yarn. Cause I really wanna try to set this up. Since this week at work is pretty light, take advantage of that. So I'll be right back. Let's take a road trip to Joanne's. Okay, bye. Okay, so basically I'm going to be making my first two rugs I want to make. The first one is going to be a vinyl record, a Bowtown record specifically. Specifically, something that I've been obsessed with my entire life. The second one is going to be the, my No Quantize logo that I just created a few months back. So I'm going to get those colors. Plus a bunch of other colors, and I'm gonna get some other crafting tools. Look at all this yarn that I'm getting. <laughs> for this one rug. Okay, I have every color that I need for both rugs, actually. I'm very happy. There's so many, I can't wait to come back. There's Homer J. Simpson. Um, I'm about to just start my day off with my ginger, turmeric juice, my beet juice, my probiotics, breakfast situation. But look at that, look at this beautiful, beautiful day. The sun is out. My tufting gun is laying there waiting for me to tuft. Flowers are just loving the sun. So grateful for my life, my little oasis here. I'm about to eat this, take a shower, freshen up, and then I actually just finished some work. I actually just did some Apple Music stuff. 
I'm almost done getting myself right, my mind, my body, my stomach, and my hygiene. I'm about to get that taken care of so I can do more work. So it is around 11.30. I am gonna go through some of my yarn supplies. I'm going to set up the gun, try to set up the frame. In the meantime, while that I'm doing that, I'm thawing out some impossible meat. I'm probably gonna make some nachos. Mm. Yeah, baby. Epidemic sound went very well. Shout out to Quentin, but uh, I'm I got my uh, rug frame together. I got my uh, fabric that I'm gonna be putting on the frame. <sighs> I'm excited. Just finished some work. I'm actually looking for an illustrator and a animator to create something to promote my lo-fi sound pack. So we'll see if she's able to give me something within the next couple of weeks. So I'm on Fiverr. This is my first time using Fiverr. I'm really hoping to get some good results. It's my first time really asking for help, honestly. I usually do things on my own or try to learn, which is what I'll continue to do, but I definitely want to get some help. And there's some people that can do things better than I can, so I'm reaching out for help, so. I have set up a rug station right next to my vinyl. I love it. I have this projector on. This is as dark as it's gonna get, but I have a um, converted image of Motown final record that I'm going to sketch out on here. I actually have an Apple TV, so I air plated and I can adjust the size, which is dope. Here's the technology. This is so cool. I'm so excited. I'm going to first sketch this out with a pencil and then use a Sharpie. So, have my gun, turn it on. Oh my god! Look at that. Did I make something? I did! I mean, this is my first line. Look at it. Wow. Look at the back of it. Wow. I did that. Let's get it started. Okay, I'm just gonna just... Oh no. Not doing it right. Future Sarah here. Just wanted to let you know that you were doing it all wrong. That's okay, because one thing we're gonna learn today is the word practice. Make sure you also put another P word in there. Patience. This is what I'm talking about. You see this? 
this is called our first attempt of making a rug and it was a fail that's why there's a part two make sure you guys like this and subscribe but this right here is my practice rug as you can see i practice going up and down i even practice putting an s and an a in there i actually practice with the punch needle practice maybe i should just Don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm going to put the yarn on a winder because it's they're not coming out easily. So I'm going to fix the yarn situation. Come back. I'm fucking this shit up. This will be my practice one. This is what I got so far. <laughs> Vegan food time, baby. I got some uh, vegan pineapple. It's got vegan bacon and vegan pineapple. Then I have some fried zucchini. This is from Julie Goes Green. It's really good. You guys should definitely try if you're in LA. Check out fit. Uh, old Hope Blue uh, tracksuit shorts with my Adidas Polaroid shirt. Nail still popping. Just bought some donuts. Some blue star donuts. For my buddy Kravis's birthday. Happy birthday. I'm gonna surprise him with some of his favorite, which are donuts. And, um,. I actually said that he wanted a rock, which means I'm gonna find him a crystal if I can. Um, but yeah, happy birthday, Chris! you a cool rock. This is the coolest rock. Like, is this rock from outer space? It's a pe it's a peacock oh, crystal. Oh, yes, and in the bag there's another crystal. Thank you. I wanted to get you one for protection, especially with COVID and negative people. Yes. LA. Yes. yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Can I look? I was yeah. like, I was like, with the camera. <laughs> Technologies is just gonna make composing things easier because I've always been a firm believer in the fact that the next biggest hit song can be locked in somebody that don't know how to play keys. The next person that is gonna change music has no idea how to play the guitar. And there you go, T Pain said it. Cause your girl don't know how to play the keys, girl. I'll be, woo! I'm very fortunate to uh, have made it this far with music because. I am not formally trained. I really couldn't tell you how to with a G, G minor seven chord to a nine whatever at all. But I know how to make music. Like I know how to make songs. So I know how to get something that's from out there out into there to to and it's amazing, just amazing. Just what T-Pain just said, it resonates with me because it allows me to not only just not give myself or just take off some pressure off myself because I always, you know, tell myself I need to learn more, I need to be better. Because there's a lot of musicians that are so talented. I have a guitar back here and I barely use it, but I have, my music has been streamed 
almost a hundred million times by right now, and I and I and I only been making music for four years, seriously, and like I'm able to do what I'm doing, and and I feel like I haven't even made like the best music yet, and. I feel like with anyone that wants to make music you can, you have technology, just like you said, like it's so much, it's so easy to make a hit song right now with what we have compared to what we had before. And if you don't know how to use the keys and you make a hit, that's okay. It's okay. The documentary is called Watch the Sound, by the way. Check it out. I'm gonna be mixing the song up. Let's, let's get into it. I just found out my cousin got shot and passed away today. My cousin that is six months six months younger than me and I grew up with him and he literally is gone now. Oh man, the fuck? My mom just told me that he got shot at a gas station coming out and he was, he just didn't even make it. And that, I'm just, it's just, it really hasn't hit me because this isn't, it's gonna hurt to go to see my family. It's gonna hurt to see them in pain. It's gonna hurt to, this is gonna hurt my family. This is hurting my family right now. This is gonna be hard because Cece did not deserve that. That's like my brother right there. No matter what we going through, I love him so much. I love my cousin so much. And um, my, my uncle, I can only imagine how, what they're feeling right now because they just lost their, fucking son. East Raleigh. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Gerald Owens. And I'm Deborah Morgan. 31-year-old Charlie Debnam was a helping hand volunteer and a drum major for the band so many in the Triangle have come to know through parades and other community events. Over the weekend, he was shot and killed just outside of the facility where he spent his time volunteering. W. Orioles Keeley Arthur is live in Raleigh after speaking with group members and the young man's family. Keeley? They are so upset and frustrated right now, and I want you to understand that this really could have happened to anyone, and that's what makes it so scary. So Charlie Debnam was at this convenience store buying Gatorades for the people that he volunteers with at the Helping Hand Mission. That's right across the street. As he was walking across the street, two cars opened gunfire. Debnam crawled in the car caught in the crossfires. Here you can see friends and family with this makeshift memorial tonight calling for an end to the violence. We want to make sure that everyone knows that he was a good man. He was just walking across the street to get a Gatorade. It is not easy to go on camera and talk about a loved one you just lost, but Charlie Debnam's family felt that they must. It has to stop. You know, lately, Every time we turn on the news or, you know, look online, someone is losing their life. And on Saturday, it was Michelle Debnam's nephew. It shouldn't have had to happen. My brother and my sister-in-law should not have to bury their son. You know, that's just, it, it's, it's, it's not fair. It's really not fair. Uh -oh. Sylvia Wiggins helps run Helping Hand Mission, where Debnam volunteered. Charlie was one of the big leaders that we had. Was one of the last people to see him. Say, so went across the street. I think about eight minutes later, we had these shots. It's just unnecessary. I don't know exactly what needs to be done, but we need to have more police presence. You know, our city council, you know, our, um, our government really needs to get involved. So here you can see this memorial that has just been expanding throughout the day. In addition to calling for an end to gun violence overall in Southeast Raleigh, the police are still looking for the people responsible for Debnam's death. If you have any information, you're asked to contact Area Crime Stoppers.